Hello, my name is Joanna Nahum and I am a medium and a healer and I want to talk to you about seeing spirits or people that have passed over to the other side as I call it and this can come to me in visions in lots of different ways so I thought I would describe that a little bit and explain um, how it can help. I can also see people that aren't dead that haven't already passed so I'm going to give you an example I was doing this one-on-one uh, -on -one healing directly with the person they're in the room um, I was doing some touch work uh, and with my uh, crystal bowl I was on this this guy's arm and while I was over that particular part there was um, a very clear vision of this man who dressed in um, light coloured clothing. He had long kind of grey white hair, a beard, and I could see um, his workshop behind him in the countryside and um, with all kind of tools and a tractor and stuff. And I explained in detail this, this man I could see. And I said, can you tell me who this guy might be? And um, he said, oh yeah, he was, he was the guy that um, taught me how to build roofs and um, to do carpentry. And so this guy is still alive. He was clearly there to bring forward a message to this person to help him on his journey with difficulties that he was having at this present moment um, in his life. That's how you can see a person who's not passed. <laughs> so now let's go on to people that have already died. It's so vast. It's so vast. So vast. Where do I start? I can give you examples. So, for example, in this very wood, I was doing a drumming circle with a group of people and it was a full moon. And um, I went to this specific site where there's a lovely dip in the earth. There's lots of them around here, lots of sinkholes. And there were lots of kind of um, big rocks all around and trees in a kind of, not a whole circle, but almost. It was probably about um, nine o'clock at night. It'd taken a little while for us to walk here and uh, when I connected uh, with my drum and with the session I saw a very 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 big spirit um, kind of almost as big as a tree and it was like he'd been there for many 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 years and it was almost like it was kind of his territory um, and he was just kind of watching to see what we were doing there. <laughs> even though he was the, probably the biggest spirit I've ever seen. He was there to kind of just to be an onlooker and almost I felt like his presence was safety and security and looking on us with uh, bienveillance, as they say in French, with kind eyes, a kind presence. When I do my drumming circles, I do three drumming sessions where there's a, a proper pause with no sound and silence um, in between the three. And so on the second session, there were lots and lots and lots of much smaller spirits that had just come to, just as kind of spectators, I suppose. The other big spirit was had been there for ages and he was going to stay there. I could tell he was rooted, you know, he had his feet like properly deep into the earth and he wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. Whereas these, these other spirits um, were definitely just here for a passing moment and, um, and then they were gone. Um, and again, they were, they were kind and um, just there to, to see what was going on really. <laughs> And then there were, you know, when I do distance healing or one-on-one -on -one sessions with people, there can be not so nice entities that have passed. There's been happenings in the past, for example, with that person and they've kind of almost latched on um, to that person. So, for example, when I do a distance healing, I can tell when there's an entity because it's like I can't even sense or feel or see the person themselves because it's like they're completely covered by the entity and I just see them, the entity and not the person. So if they allow me and if it's the right thing to do, then um, I ask them uh, and I help them to go to source gently and serenely um, move them up to the light so that they can continue their evolution rather than stay in that person's body, kind of stuck there, not helping the person and not helping themselves. So the light is getting pretty dark now in this forest and um, I think that's 
a good short description for now about spirits and entities and how they can be different. There's a lot more I could say about that, but I think that's enough for one evening. If you're interested, if you feel like you might have an entity or um, you know someone, you could introduce them to my website, joannanahoom.com. They might need some help with this if they have trouble sleeping or they feel like there's a presence with them all the time or they have a lot of headaches or symptoms or they're ill a lot um, or they're really agitated, they're tired, and lots of stress or just difficult and they feel like it's not necessarily coming primarily from them it's kind of it feels like there might be something else um, that's creating that those symptoms and they can get in touch on my website and uh, we can talk and I can see if I can help them or you <laughs> okay so take care and lots of love and uh, you'll see me again soon bye <laughs>